Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file that they actually traced. And the top line's good, the bottom line is terrible. I mean, not terrible, it's not symmetrical. He wants to join these gaps, and he wants to basically make this one. So we're just gonna take this and delete all the other parts we don't need. And as always, I'm gonna make a copy of it. Control D and make a duplicate and nudge it out of the way. He's got his duplicate distance set on zero. 25, 25, that's a no-no. So make it zero, zero. And then we might not even need that later, but it's always good to have it right on top, then you can do it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna left click, right click, and look at this. And this line, is the thickness he wants. So it's gonna leak right there and we're gonna take uh, the two point line and just go from that node to that node. That way it's right in the middle. We're gonna take the Smart Fill tool. We'll set it on blue just so you can kind of see it. Now we're gonna nudge that out of the way. And if you look, that is our new line. So what we need to do, and I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, when, when you have a lot of lines like this and you've fill them in later with the Smart Fill tool. It's better to have one solid object instead of having a bunch of lines. So we're just gonna take these lines and break them apart. Um, kinda hard to figure out which one's what. Uh, that needs to go, that needs to stay. Uh, let's look at this thing. I know we want the line up into the bottle looking thing. And we want it right, we want, the, want that field in to make it look like a line. Now something's wrong there. Let me back up here. Yeah, I should have just taken away this line. Really should zoom in and we want to go into that line and into the bottle. I should have really waited on this till last, but we'll go ahead and do it. Because that way when we smart fill, um, it should work a lot better. And we'll go ahead and smart fill it just to kind of show you what I meant by that. So we're going to smart fill it now with black. And we'll be done with the top half. And we can nudge that over. Now, he doesn't want a center line. He was just using it for to tell me what size. And now we need to fix this. And if we take the shape tool, and we want to get rid of this entire line to about there, so I'm going to right-click and break it apart. I'm going to right-click and break it apart. Then we can use the virtual segment, segment delete key to delete all that. Now we can, we have not changed anything, so we can take that and nudge it back over. Start moving it and hold down your control button and then that way you can't really move it left or right. We're gonna, you could actually put that there. Um, I'm gonna move it up just a hair because we want those we want those lines visible to break apart. I'm gonna change my nudge factor if I remember it's on 2.01 and I'm just gonna nudge this down ever so slightly. Well, the, the file's so little that I need to go 0 .001. Nudge this down just ever so slightly because I want those lines above our new line. Now I can take my virtual segment delete key. Well, I can't delete that one because that line was not touching. So let's go to the shape tool. Well, it should touch. Should not. There we go. And... It's always neat to have this thing close by. We want all the parts except for those two parts to be white. So we're gonna take the virtual segment delete key and delete that, delete that, delete that. Now there's some extra lines um, on top. There we go, did it pretty good. Now with this one, the one I'm doing it for, go up and go, break curve apart, or control K, 
and make this a little bit bigger. Um, and we actually got an extra line there. We can, you can take actually take the shape tool and select it and delete that line. And looking at this, this is kind of continuation of this line. So you need to kind of play around with that. Maybe make that come up there a little bit. Now we got a lot of broken lines, but the smart fill tool should not leak and it doesn't, so we're good. Normally I would fix these nodes um, like right there and join them together and we'll just fix one. I actually bring that down more to the middle. Hold down your shift key and grab that one. Select them both, go up to windows, dockers, join curves and hit apply. And it join those two curves. We don't have to do that because we're going to use a smart fill tool. And I think I've got an extra set of lines right there. So we can take the delete key and delete that line. Well, it's actually the other one we need to delete. We need to delete this line. And when you delete one side, we're going to go and fix that leak. And, but the smart fill tool, will, that's what the smart fill tool is very helpful. On. Okay, on this one, he wants to join these two lines and make it look like a sweep. So we're gonna, let's grab all three of these nodes and kind of just bring it up into here. Now, I know he's engraving this on glass because you need to think about everything between the line is gonna be your engraving surface. So you don't want two of them real close together. And that doesn't look real good. I, I wanna change that quite a bit, but we can take our shape tool and move move this one out of the way. And whenever you get a node like that, uh, that's bad. It's hard to replace it. It's just because it's so close to the other one. See, it's it's got that triangular looking um, part of the node. Just go back and then make it straighter. And let's just go ahead and join these two nodes. And then we can use a smoothing tool. We'll take the, and I know he knows how to use a smoothing tool. Um, it's too big. Let's go 0 0.01. Because you don't want to touch both lines at one time. We want it a little bit bigger than that so you can go up the scale. Because you don't want to touch both these lines. You could, on, before we smart fill it, let's go ahead and join those two, two nodes. And then take the smart fill tool, or the smoothing tool. Sorry. See, I'm touching both lines. So that's you know what you need to look out for. Like this one is pretty close to the other line. And it's just not giving much glass between them. When you can't, you can always hold down the alt, the alt key and get your, your other, uh, like a lasso. And now we just need to join these and this is just like almost just the opposite of we did. I would take off three of these nodes and just bring them into here. Take your virtual segment delete key and just wipe through. Hold down the shift key and select that second line. Hit apply. These are already both uh, selected. Take your smoothing tool and just smooth that out. And this is where you could make your smoothing tool a little bit bigger. Same thing here, but I do a little bit different. Instead of trying to join that twice, Let's just take the virtual segment delete key and delete that. Take a Let's take the three-point curve line and go from like that node to that node and give it a little bit of a curve. Go from way over here to way over there and give it a little bit of a curve. That one's not on the, on the line, so take your shape tool. Your shape tool is what you're going to use to, to uh, move individual nodes over. Virtual segment delete key. Now, so we could fix this. Well, we don't need to, because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool and fill fill that in and nudge it over. Well, remember, I got to set my nudge back to two inches, and then nudge this over. Take the Smart Fill tool and nudge that over. And see, I didn't have to repair those nodes, but we need to still look at it, and it's almost easier to look at it in a hairline type or a line. Let's take the uh, smoothing tool again, make it a little bit bigger. Now let's make it that point one, and just smooth that out. 
Mm. A lot of times if you're smoothing and it doesn't start smoothing, it's because you haven't touched the line yet. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And I'd go over the whole thing, just make it look pretty good. And I think we're good to go. Now, after you do that, I'd go and fill that in and nudge it over and then nudge over your smart fill. Because a lot of times, if we look, that's an RGB black line and that's an RGB black fill. A lot of times your lines are gonna be uh, maybe possibly a different color. I think that looks pretty good. I would maybe, because this shape is really the continuation of that shape, I would maybe look at this in wireframe. And I know I'm doing more than he wanted, but um, I would just take my, um, maybe move this over a little bit and kind of have a flat side here. Matter of fact, I would grab both those nodes, right click and turn them into a line. And then you could select both of them and go to a line, line uh, horizontally and kind of get those nodes even. They actually need to come down just a hair. But it looks like a continuation of, of that and you could actually bring it down a little bit further if you didn't want to redraw the whole thing, because it is part of the graphic and it would, I think it would look better, but then just smart fill it. And like, again, move it over, Do it, um, you know, move that over. I'm going to double smart fill that, which isn't a bad thing, but just get rid of your original. I think we're good to go. I don't see anything else really a problem. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.